So the MAC address is something that you guys all know. But one of the types of specific attacks that are out there is this thing called a MAC flood. And just like the word flood insinuates here, it sends a massive amount of data specifically to a limited memory appliance. And by doing that, you're able to cause a denial of service attack. We had a question the other day that came out that said uh, an all-in-one device went down and it stopped letting traffic, the flow of traffic coming into the network. That was a fail-safe, right? Well, most devices have an option that you go and say, what do you want to do if, if a denial of service attack comes in? Most devices are set up to be a failsafe, to stop. However, some Cisco engineers or the people that work with you that call themselves Cisco engineers go in there and do their default settings that are different than what the company recommends. And one of them is to let traffic flow through the device after something like this happens, which would end up causing it to act as a hub, which at that point, it becomes just a switching device that replicates the packets, right? It doesn't do any analysis. It doesn't use any routing tables. It doesn't use any uh, network protocols like OSPF or, or RIP to actually go through and push the data from one to another. It's just shooting it out to the network. So a lot of times what this one attack can do, if it causes another device to be a hub, it can then start to amplify and cause the replication of massive amounts of data on the network, which is not good, not good at all. 